In the last video, we made a part that explodes, but you may have noticed that the part explodes as soon as the game starts, which isn't very useful. Let's add code to prevent the part from exploding until a player pushes it. In the script, I'm going to insert code after I set up the variable, but before the code that creates the explosion. Then I'm going to use a while loop to check to see if the part is moved. Now before when we use loops, we simply typed while true do, which creates an infinite loop. In this case, I want the loop to eventually end so that the code down here can continue on to create an explosion. So instead of true, I'm going to type the condition exploding part dot velocity dot magnitude is less than 0.1, then do, and then inside the loop, I'm going to include a wait statement. A while loop repeats this containing code until a specified condition is true. Now before, when we did while true, the condition was always true. So the insides would just repeat over and over. Now in this case, the game is checking how fast the part is moving by checking the magnitude of its velocity. Now if the velocity is very slow, lower than 0.1 studs per second, then the loop simply waits a moment and tries again. Now if the velocity is higher, then the condition won't be true and the while loop will end, which lets the later code execute. So now if we try out our game, this time with play so we can get a character to push the part, we can see that the part doesn't explode until it starts moving.